Oh, yeah, we are freaking at the Freakers Ball, y'all. Right here live on RealLibertyMedia.com on this Friday, February 1st, 2019. Oh, boy, I, I hope everything's uh, coming out well because uh, I'm on a slightly different setup. <laughs> and I tested it out the other day, but I didn't test it out in the configuration that I presently have it at. So hopefully my... Uh, Audio is coming through clearly. Anyway, welcome everybody to the Freakers Ball. Uh, again, it is Friday night, February 1st, 2019. And uh, we're glad to have you all here with us, uh, wherever you may be tuned in from. If you're here on RealLibertyMedia.com and on the video stream, you're in the right place. That's where you want to be. If it's hot and crackling, ooh, that's no good. Let me see if I can uh, fix that up real quick here. Uh, oh, that's, that's the wrong thing. I clicked the wrong thing. All right, let me let me let me let me, let me just go in here and, and try and fix this here, because uh, you know I, I don't know. Sometimes things happen and they don't work right. And sometimes they do. All right, let me bring this down some, and we'll bring this down some here, and we'll see how that works out. Okay, all right, close that. All right, ah, good, better already. Good, 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 good. Okay, <laughs> hopefully that's fine. I, I don't, I don't want to be having to deal with it all night, but uh, yeah, hot and crackling freakers balls. Uh, anyway, so uh, welcome to everybody here in in the chat. Moose girl seems to be having a little problem staying online. I'm sure that'll make her happy. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> God. All right. Uh, so anyway, welcome to everybody over there on realliberty.org. Uh, we know there's a bunch of fans over there, and we got the player on that site, the audio player. Uh, also on freedomsnetwork.com. Uh, welcome to you all as well. And uh, those on minds.com, if you saw the link and tuned in, thank you. Uh, if you're uh, if you're on wherever else the audio stream may be going out to, uh, glad to have you all here with us as well. So, um, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Moose Girl, but she's been bouncing in and out of here. Over the last though several minutes, I, I'm not sure what's going on with all that. Uh, all right, so um, it, it, if the audio sounds good now, let me know. Uh, I'm going to tell you that uh, this week starts our official donation drive for Real, Real Liberty Media to keep the place up and running. And to let you know, I have already received, sounds like crap, Whoa, that's no good. Shitty. <laughs> God. Oh, man. All right, all right. Well, I, I don't know what to do in that case. I could... Uh... Oh, boy. Well, if it's going to sound crappy, I'm not going to like it. All right, I, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm just going to do it. Just hold, hold the phone for a moment. Okay, now, how's that sound? Is that any better? Uh, let me make sure everything's still working here. Uh, it looks like it's working, 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 working. Check, 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 check. All right, um, that should be better, baby. Uh, yeah, you can't really use that, that link for a donate. Uh, so much better? Much better. Okay, great. Okay, better but not perfect. Well, uh, perfection is no good. Uh, that's, that's not a good link, I don't think there. Yeah, that's your token link. If you want the proper link, let me, uh, get that for you real quick here. Um, bum, 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 where'd I put it, where'd I put it, where'd I put it? Oh, here it is. All right, here is the link that you should use. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah, it's, it's the official donation time. Um, I've already received three, four, four donations, uh, ca cash, cash style donations. You're having to crank your volume. Uh, well, yeah. all right, all right. Let me see if I can change anything else. Um, yeah, let me bring this up here some. All right, all right, all right. Check, 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 check. All right. 
still crack still quite crackly are you on uh, are you on the audio or the video stream there Ben um, ba -ba -ba better better okay good all right <laughs> now what was I saying oh yeah um, yeah it's the, uh, the the official uh, donation annual donation drive we only do this once a year uh, for for the uh, to keep everything running let's see here what we have gotten so far we got in the 20 we got another 20 uh, we got uh, that one 50 50 so we've already received two uh, fifties and two twenties as donations. Uh, I, I, I also received a uh, uh, how do I put this a, a non-monetary donation that, um, although doesn't help towards the server costs and such things, has greatly improved my life, <laughs> and it will over the over the somewhat near term. Um, and 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 so. To the, I won't say what it was or where it came from, but I will say a great thanks to the person, entity that that donated that particular donation to me. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, we've got a good ways to go though yet. Uh, so anybody that wants to uh, pop in some donations there, uh, I, I'd, I'd appreciate it because you know some of these other uh, some of these other donations that I've gotten. Uh, Oh, I don't even know where they're from. I know this. We got one from Vince. We know that for sure. And we got one from somebody. I don't know who he is. David Tokar. I don't know that name. Uh, I should probably know that name. It's somebody. Uh, and from oh, Cirque. We got one from Cirque. A nice one from Cirque. And from some other guy. It must be a fan of Hal's. Named my dog Rex. So thanks, Rex. We appreciate your uh, contributing to the Real Liberty Media things um, PayPal works right or did I air lock it PayPal works yeah PayPal works um, yeah PayPal's great so um, that, I mean and and you don't have to have be a member of PayPal you don't have to have a PayPal account in order to donate uh, any anybody can donate as long as you got a, a credit card um, or a PayPal account uh, so and you don't there's no logging in required in order to use your credit card there so uh, that that that's all good to go. Um, so uh, hopefully uh, that that will uh, uh, be of some. Uh, oh, okay. Moose girl, uh, I got a text message from her that says she is having issues. Of course. So at this point, what we're gonna do, and while she tries to uh, work out, what can you do? What do you mean? What can you do? You can. Uh, Click that donate link there and uh, donate some cash. <laughs> I I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know who that is. All right. Uh, anyway, um, let's just go to some music, and and uh, we shall uh, be back after we play some musics. All right. And it's a shame that Moose ain't here, because I at least had, had at least one song lined up for her. So, well, well, what do you do? <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Before that, we had John Prine, Prine, John Prine, John Prine doing Crazy as a Loon, and we kicked it off there with the Judas Priest heading out for the highway, uh, to the highway, for the highway, to the highway, yeah. Uh, one, one of those, he's, he's going somewhere, you know, man. <laughs> yeah, you missed Crazy as a Loon, but uh, you've heard it before. <laughs> Oh man, where are we at here? <laughs> uh, anyway, that was that was uh, uh, interesting set. We had a little technical issue there, but no big deal. It was all solved up uh, right there in in uh, in the uh, during the set. So uh, hooray for that! Yeah. Um, anyway, so let's uh, let's get Moose Girl on the line here any uh, uh, quickly, hopefully. 
quickly, hopefully. Moose Girl will be on the line here. And, uh, oh, look at that. I, I didn't change my screen back. Hey, hang on, i got to change my screen back here. Then, then I'll answer my wire. There she is. I knew she'd be right around here somewhere. And there she is. And there she is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I am here, finally. You are here. Great. That's great. Wonderful. All right, thanks, Rob, for that sound check. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that was an interesting start once again to the Freaker's Ball. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, you'll uh, you'll be on that next that new computer by next week. So. Yeah, I will. I'm, I'm getting second, that. You'll have that changed second. out tomorrow. I promise you, it will be done tomorrow. I can't take this one anymore. This one's like stressing me out. It's and, like and, and you'll this have ain't that, cool. <laughs> and, and you'll have that second monitor. Right, so, right. Um, okay, so the problem with the t using a TV that my um, son is using, he's using a TV as his monitor downstairs. Right. It doesn't fit the screen. Like, the screen doesn't fit, you know what I mean? Whoa. It cuts off the screen a little bit, so I oh, think well, he can adjust it through the computer, though. Yeah, it's a configuration issue. It's not a big deal. Right, yeah. So he was like, well, I don't know if you should use a mon TV as your monitor because, um, you know, the screen doesn't quite fit exactly right. All and then right. on his TV, it's an older one. There's only, like, two modes. Yeah, But yeah. if he went into computer settings and did it that way, that would work, right? Uh, yeah, no, there's there's definitely a way to, to, to tune it in via the, okay. uh, the graphics card settings. Well, I might have you... Tomorrow or sometime, go on Team View on there and see if you can help me set that up. Sure, and uh, well, I, I think I know where do you go. Where you go, you go to like display. Yeah, depending um, on what graphics card he's, he's he's running on there, where you can change the configuration. Um, Grimner, what is the 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 Crystal Quest? Is the name of the water filter you use, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit! He already ordered it. What did he order? A Berkey. Oh uh, well, people. Some yeah, people like Berkey. He ordered a Berkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, can't hear a damn thing. What? I can't hear nothing. Then what? I'm left. I, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. whatever. Anyway, um, sorry to interrupt you, Graham, but I just uh, my cousin. It's like big Berkey's on its way. It's like, oh, and then I wrote, please check out Crystal Quest before you order a Berkey. Yeah, well, no, people like, some people like Berkey's. I, I think uh, Kate's running a Berkey. Um, uh, so, some, you know, Berkey, there's nothing wrong with Berkey. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a fine device, but you, you do have to uh, replace those filters uh, fairly often. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what the time frame is. I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not a, uh, <laughs> I, I, I've never had a Berkey, so I, I can't tell you about that. Uh, but there, there's different ones, the black Berkey filters and the... But you have to replace Crystal Quest filters, correct? Well, yeah, uh, oh, oh, but over a longer period of time, and, and, and the, the one, well, the ones I use are disposable. Um, oh, okay. I mean, you don't, you don't, you, you just replace the whole unit, and it's it's fairly inexpensive. Um uh, Rob says filters are good for 10,000 gallons. So depending on how much oh, okay. water you use, how many people are in your house, all that stuff. Gotcha. Um, but oh, yeah, okay. there's there's, uh, there's and there's other uh, compatible filters out there that uh, are costless. Yeah, right. They're gravity fed, so you know you can't get the as much volume. Out of well, it. I just thought that they maybe didn't filter up fluoride like the Crystal Quest does, because well, I remember well, at one I, time I, you thought that was the only one that did filter out the fluoride. I think Berkey does have some fluoride filters. Oh, okay. I'm not positive okay. On that. Like, don't 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 quote me. That's good. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, I'm just it's, sorry to change the subject, but so the screen configuration, you and I can work on that a different time, but that can be dealt with. So I it, I am okay using a TV. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I use, okay. Uh, bar, barman's computer only has the the, the 32 inch TV as a monitor. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. So I just want to show you. I just want to. I'm going to link you something here, Graham. All right. And I well, want you to. Okay. 
Uh, let, let me say hi and howdy to the folks here in the chat. I didn't do that. Oh, anymore. okay, let's do that. Sorry, yeah, on, go uh, for it. On the first go round. So, howdy to Barman and Cowboy Tech and you and me. Yep. And uh, Miss Kate and, and Don Carroll, as Mo and Chloe and Calcedoni and Echelon. Echelon, Echelon. Uh, Goober, 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 Goober. Uh, Graham Z, uh, great show earlier, Grammy. Uh, good to hear you back on there, and uh, we got uh, Poxified and Rain and the Fluke Pot, and Mr. Rob works himself, Mr. Rome's Vin E, the Phantom Beetle, Benoit, Benoit, uh, the Cyborg Noodle, Dakota, Frumpy, Gromit, Java Doctor, JJ's, Kozu, Moe, Ninsen, Dubois, Perfect Ion, which is uh, Flash by any other name, um, <laughs> <laughs> Some more poxes here. Pones out, sock puppet, skittle in the Uno bot. So uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So all all these folks. Uh, great to have you here with us. Okay, what, yeah. are, you, what are you showing I'm me? I'm gonna link you a little, vid little, too. What is this? Some kind of weird porn? It's a stuff? newspaper. <laughs> no, it was a newspaper article in the Star and Tribune this week. You know those brutal cold temperatures? Yeah. And my cousin was actually saunaing out doing sauna. Oh. And the sauna is at 200 degrees. 200. Yeah. That would burn so your you skin can, off. You no, you can, you can get warm enough where you're able to go outside in minus 50 to 50 below weather. Uh, hey, Vinny, how's it going? Uh, oh. Anyway, um. Okay. I'm going to show you this video. Yeah, it's a uh, burning your damn skin off. I, I, I don't understand. No, you... no, it, it's a sauna. Okay, hang on. Well, it's so cold out that the sauna has to be a certain temperature in order to combat the the below zero temperatures outside, right? Right. So anyway, there's a video. I don't know if you want to play it, but they were they were actually saunaing on minus, the temp was minus 20. <laughs> and the with the wind chill is probably like minus fifty. Oh, those people are crazy. <laughs> they, no, I would do it. I would do it. Like, I, if if you've never like, like I've gone to um, Native American sweat lodge ceremonies when it was below zero outside. Right. You know, I've I've walked on snow with my bare feet going into it and coming out of it. You know, and once once you're out of it, obviously going in is is different than coming out. Because coming out, you're totally hot. You know, you're all fucking heated up. Yeah. But yeah, okay. saunas are very, very therapeutic. All right, um, all right. They, they, they get the toxins out of your body. I actually want a portable one, um, which my cousin does have in his backyard. And there's actually a, a website. I'll link that to you guys too. On the times. Get down, Jackson. Get down. You're making me mute. You're muting my button. You're, you're pushing. Jackson, get down. What Jackson. do you want? Your dog is pushing her buttons. Jackson, go. Get the suck. Get the suck. Okay. So, anyway, uh, it's called Sauna Times. Sauna Times. Dot com. Dot com. And it's, I, I believe the guy's in Minneapolis. I'm pretty sure he's in the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. But he will help, he helped my cousin build the outdoor portable sauna that he has at in his backyard. And the thing about a portable one is you can move it where you need it to be, right? Right. And so it's very I'm just, I'm just saying the reason I'm talking about this is it's very therapeutic and beneficial to human beings to do this because we're exposed to so many toxins and we eat so many toxins. And one of the best ways to get toxins out of your system and out of your body is by sweating. That and is, so, a good way. if you can at all think about like building your own sauna, I don't know, you know or, or finding a, a different way to sweat, be it exercise or whatever, you know what I mean? It sweating is very good for you. Okay, I yeah. never buy like antiperspirant. I don't, if I do buy anything, it's natural deodorant without aluminum, because you're supposed to perspire. Okay, it's natural for people to perspire. Sure. And it's it's the body's way of getting toxins out of your system. Right. And actually, saunas go back way back. I mean, there it's like I am a, a Nordic um, blood, Nordic blood. I mean, it goes back to the days like I can't believe many more people don't have saunas. 
um, because they're so therapeutic and so good for you. Um, even it used to be when you go to hotels, they'd have saunas. Right. Nowadays, you go, they don't have saunas anymore. That's because they were worried about germs and everything, you know, yeah. like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But your own sauna in your home would be so beneficial for you. Like if you, if you ever have never been into a sauna, have you ever done a sauna, Grim? I have. Okay, so you know what it is. Sure. You can leave at any time. I mean, if you start feeling uncomfortable, there's no, like, it's not like a Superman, Superman, or superhero move. You know what I mean? You <laughs> yeah, can, like, I same with the sweat lodge. If you're too cold, hot in there, you get the fuck out of there. Right. You know, they don't want you passing out and stuff like that. Yeah. So, what I'm saying is, the point of my whole thing is, saunas are very beneficial for getting toxins out of your body. Toxins out of your body. Right. It's one of the fastest and best ways to do it, if you ask me. Sure. Um, no, I, I don't know if you heard uh, about the Grammy show earlier, but she was talking about how, how to remove the, the toxic metals from your body with... Uh, good. Like ke- chelation? Uh, no, no, she was talking about like coconut milk uh, is really oh, okay. good. Okay, yep. And peanut butter and uh, okay. uh, certain other substances. There's a link in her blog, or there will be tomorrow when okay, I do Okay, cool. But, I'll uh, check that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah so... I mean, yeah. So there is more. What there's more than one way to do it. Sure, but, but I mean, to you know, me, if oh, you, go ahead, Grim. If you have access to a sauna, use it. When I ever felt, when I've, every time I got out of a sweat lodge or a sauna, right. The next day, I felt amazing. Like cool. I feel amazing the next day because you you're getting all those. You're just sweating them all out. They just they pour out of your body. Yeah. And you just you do you feel a difference. I mean. You don't realize how many toxins you're exposed to every day. You know, we, most people don't even think about it. You know, right. they well, just, they're just—they're oblivious. You know? Most people. But um, it's check it's out it's that it's website, Sauna Times. I mean, it gives you instructions on how to build a sauna. It, 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 it you know, he for twenty bucks he'll send you his ebook, and he will help you. I mean, you know, I'm sure he'd help you like if you know remotely. Um. But the the one of the best ones. I mean, some people put them in their house in their basement or whatever. Right. But to me, I think it would be ideal to have a portable one. I mean, sure. they don't need to be very big. You know, they look yeah. like the size of like an ice fishing house or something. Which people down south don't know what the fuck that is, but um, yeah, it it it's pretty cool. I mean, and then they went to Home Depot and got some like clothes out oak. Like right. pieces of oak, and then right. they just cut it up and use that to burn their their uh, their um the wood to keep the sauna hot. Yeah. And there's a special stove you can get. I mean, I'm sure there's a you know a top of the line name brand stove you can get for your sauna. Okay. But um, I'm sure there's knockoffs where or less expensive options. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. Because that's got to be like one of the most expensive parts is the stove itself. You know. Yeah, you know what I saw recently, and I, I, I never really thought about it, but I guess it makes sense that they would exist. Um, inflatable hot tubs. Well, there you go. Yeah, just go in your, your portable sauna, then jump in, because that's really fun to do. Like, if you're in a sauna, you're super hot. It's really cool to, like, jump into something that's cooler. Yeah. You know, it, it like, exhilarates you. Well, it's I, just I don't amazing. know how much cooler a hot tub is, but. Right, but it's cooler <laughs> than a sauna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it seemed like a kind of a neat idea, you know. Right, but that, that did you show that picture of my cousin? Did I show it? No, Being in the in the in the cold no, no, in the, their swimsuits and shit. I'll show it. Well, you don't have to, but yeah, no, that's cool. And then that video that they're in, and then there's these ice mugs that they got. They made they drink beer out of mugs made of ice. All right, there you go. Um, there you go. <laughs> yeah, my cousin made the paper, the uh, Star and Tribune, because they were out sawing and being out standing outside, outside of the sauna in f- minus fifty below zero weather. And he's pouring water on his head. Yeah, he, because he's hot <laughs> in minus fifty. <laughs> That's his girlfriend next to him. He's pretty short. No, he that he's pretty tall actually. That that picture doesn't show his height very well, but. I think that's cool that they made the paper. Oh, yeah, that's you great. You know, that's yeah. cool. 
Yeah, it is called sweat lodges, Goob, and it's a, actually a ceremony. A sweat lodge is actually a ceremony yeah, that they do. Yeah, it's a little do. more involved. Um, you, you see, need, the, the Nordic some... people just use it basically to fucking sweat out all the meat and the toxins, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the Native Americans use it use it as a ceremonial thing. It's a ceremonial thing for uh, wampum money. Right. Wampum? I think you're thinking wigwam, dude. <laughs> Uh, Don't yeah, and wampum. wampum was actually a slang word for money. Okay, that was the white people's word for Indian money, not the other way around. Just saying that the white people made up words for Indian money, and wampum was it. Right. Yeah. No. Wampum. And squaw is actually a. a it, it's not cool to call a woman, a Native American woman, a squaw. That's also a, another one of those words that the white man made up. Unless to, she's your squaw. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, so anyway, I I've been to sweat lodge ceremonies, and it and I didn't do it just for the purpose of using it as a sauna. I was actually doing it as um, a way to a spiritual for spiritual 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 reasons. Right. You know, um, I was brought up that my parents tried to bring me up to be a Christian. And, you know, I did the whole Sunday school and confirmation, but my parents weren't hardcore at all Sure. when it came to religion. And so, to me, religion did nothing, the Christian religion did nothing for my spirituality at all. Like, right, right. you know, here I am, you know, God, 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 Jesus, Jesus you know. And then my parents, on the way to church, my parents would be getting in a, a fucking fight on the way to church, right? Yeah. On the way home from church, they'd be fucking fighting. Uh, you know, a lot of good fucking church did. You know, come on, people. So anyway, it did nothing for my spirituality, and then I was in kind of a rough patch in my life, and I some I had some trauma happen to me in my past that I hadn't dealt with, right? Yeah. And so I was on a bad path, going downhill. You know. Yeah. And so I met some Native Americans, because uh, I worked, I lived up in Hayward and on or near the res. The whole time I lived up there, I was on or near the reservation, right? Right. So I met some people that were into the, the Native American teachings and traditional ways, and they introduced me to Sweat Lodge, and it seriously, I I worded as it saved my life, which I really think it did, you know. Um, I don't know that for sure. But it feels like it did. Oh, you know great. what I mean? Oh, I mean, whatever works for you. I, I, getting you, getting you from, you know, wandering off the wrong direction to to, to be somewhere right. where you want to be. That's that. Well, and the biggest thing was dealing with that past trauma. You know, yeah. The, the way to the deal with past trauma is to get through it, go through it. You can't shove it down. You have to go, it, process it. Most people don't. They just fucking keep it inside, and it causes a lot of. Pro it can cause a lot of problems doing that. Sure. So the only way through pain to get beyond the pain is to go through it. You know what I mean? Okay. You can't. You you can't just oh just shove it down, shove it down, shove it down. You have to process it. You know, and there is a way, there's a process that you have to go through, and if you just if you don't do that. You're never going to get over that trauma, and it's going to affect you negatively in your life, you know? Absolutely. Big time, because you have to go through it to get to the other side. You can't – there's no other way, really. You know, if right. you get through a sweat lodge or through exercise or whatever. counseling, yeah. whatever, you got to get through it. you got to get it out, out. You know what I mean? Absolutely. If you, keep, if you keep it in, it'll just fester and cause problems. I think stuff like that can cause disease. Okay? Holding stuff in like that can cause disease. Right. Yep. And you don't want that. You know? I mean, some people don't give a shit. Some people don't think about it. Some people are just like, whatever. You know what I mean? Sure. Whatever. I'm okay. I'm over it. But no, if 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 if, if you know that it's affecting or making, ha having negative things happen to you in your life. Mm-hmm. Then you know that there's something that you haven't dealt with yet. That right, right. You need, you know, and it sounds all corny and all blah blah blah, 
But there's a real thing about – ask any P- PTSD survivor. Like, uh, you know, I've been through counseling and stuff. I've been through sweat lodge ceremonies. I mean, I, w- I wanted to learn. I wanted to heal. I wanted to get through it. You know what I mean? Makes so sense to me. That's the first step is the desire to wanting to do it. If you don't want to change or want to learn or get or deal process your pain, you won't. You have to want to do it. I agree. And that's the biggest thing where most people they don't think they have a problem, you know? Yeah. And it's like, dude, you have a problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do it or do that. Yeah. You know? If something in your life is causing you to go down a wrong path or if something in your life that happened to you in your past is holding you back from anything, then you know you got some issues. Sure. You know, and you don't have to go to counseling. You can just get a, use a trusted friend or do it yourself. Don't even talk to anybody about it. Read a book. You know, um, learn, you know, but you have to want to do it. If you don't want to, it will never be, you will not be successful. And that's with anything in life. Right, right. If you want something bad enough, you got to be willing to do whatever it takes to fucking get it. Yeah. You know, and that means whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. And you've got to do the work. Shit's not going to fucking just be handed to you on a silver fucking platter. That's not how life works. Right. You know, so if you got a silver platter, let me know. I'll, I'll take well, it. Well, yeah, well, let me know too. You know, <laughs> if there's some silver platter handing out shit, let me know. <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Well, well that's uh, you know that's good, and and everybody needs to uh, learn to do things. Uh, you know, how to best take care of themselves. <laughs> Nobody knows better than you or. Right. Well, there's been such a stigma about mental health treatment and people, you know, it's like a stigma. Like if you're mentally ill or some trauma happened to you, you're supposed to just like get over it. You know, it doesn't work that way necessarily. You know, I mean, it's all up to the individual though. Oh, yeah. You know, it's all up to you. If, If a person wants to change, they fucking will. They'll, they'll get the help that they need or they'll take the steps that they need to take to do what they need to do in order to change. Sure. But they have to want to. That's the biggest thing. You have yeah, to no. want to. Exactly. And it, you, otherwise, it won't work. No matter what you do, it won't work. Right. So take care of yourselves out there. We need you around well, here. Yeah, we, you know, we I like mean. You have it around. Yeah, it's like <laughs> life's too fucking short to be miserable, okay? Absolutely. That's, what I, I, that's one of my mantra, mantras in life, okay? Life is too goddamn short to be miserable. And there ain't no reason. There ain't no reason for it. Right. And so if you're miserable, you know, I don't know. There's there's alternatives is what I'm saying. Obviously, the obvious alternative is end it. That's a fucking cop-out. Sure. All right? That's a People that commit suicide, I'm sorry. It's a fucking cop-out. And I know there's accidental suicides, but the ones that are intended, intentional... That's a cop out. They can't deal with it. Blah blah blah. You know what? That's a cop out. Exactly. And I'm just saying, if it, you know, it sounds corny, and people are like, oh well, you're not a tough guy. You're you're not a tough person. You don't have. You know what I mean? Fuck that. All right. They Fuck don't know. That. All right. The people that say that to you, <laughs> they're they're more fucked up than you are. I guarantee fucking to you that. Yeah. They're the ones that are like they're fucked up. They're not dealing with their shit. So like, well, they're, they're just gonna they're gonna downplay your your stuff or badmouth your stuff. Don't listen to the motherfucking assholes. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Fuck them. It's all on you. It's all up to you. It is. To do what you need to do, and you know people are just like too too much relying on other people or relying on a pill. Yeah. Okay, a happy pill. There's no fucking happy pill. All right? There's not. There's no pill you can take where you're going to be happy. There isn't, right. unfortunately. They Oh, yeah, they've tried to bring all these antidepressants on the market. You know what the, what the, the mainstream uh, medical establishment antidepressants do? 
You know what they do? Uh, no. They make you more depressed. They make you suicidal or suicidal and homicidal. Okay? There's no happy pill. Do not do not rely on the, the medical establishment to give you some fucking medication that's going to make you better. Because there isn't. Yeah. There isn't one. Yeah. They don't have one. The only thing I can suggest is weed and LSD. Do there an LSD go. trip. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm all behind mushrooms, that. Mushrooms cure depression. It's uh, been proven scientifically. Uh, so I'm there all you for go. That solution. That's a good solution. Yeah, it is. Mushrooms or LSD will could do wonders for you. So, so tell, tell me this. Tell me this. What's the uh, temperature right now in Eau Claire? Uh, let's see here. It's above zero. I know that. Oops, I did two two dots. It's above zero. One That's dot. Good. It ten is, degrees. Oh, degrees. it's ten above. It's oh. ten degrees above zero. Almost eleven there. Yeah, man. You're smoking. It feel, it, seriously, it was seriously minus well, the twenty. The temperature on Wednesday morning yeah. was minus twenty three, and with combined with the wind chill, it was like minus fifty three outside. And you you would go out there and you could feel it. Like my dog, I felt so bad for that dog. I I mean, I don't well, have booties for him or anything. But his yeah. little paws, he was just like out there like. Stepping on three legs, out, you know, like lifting up one and lifting up the other. I, I oh my God, that, that poor told, dog! I thought you told he me was he was trooper. bouncing around, having a good old time. No, well, he was when it wasn't fifty-three below zero. Oh, yeah, well, it was that was two <laughs> days before the the, the the brutal cold. That was two days before. Okay, so it was colder here on Wednesday than Antarctica, Mount Everest, and this other cold place. I can't remember which one. The Kate said in the chat. Planet Vostok. <laughs> What? Vladivostok? Yes, I think so. That, that's supposed I mean, to be like the coldest place in the That's crazy. That was the weirdest. Yeah, Siberia. That was the weird. That wasn't weird. It was brutal, but that was the most cold I've ever experienced. I mean, was I was up on the north or up near Canada last winter yeah. around Christmas time. Right. And it was brutal up there, but it was only like minus thirteen in Eau Claire. Yeah. This was the worst. This was the worst, coldest, the most cold temps I've ever experienced or felt in my life. Seriously. Right. Okay, so it's minus 40 in the North Pole. Okay, that makes me feel better now. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. All it's right, like, well, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's switch off to some tunes here. All right, let's do that. And, uh, and, uh, and we'll come back after these, and uh, maybe this song will make you feel... Just a little warmer. Well, we've we've set a record this with this last cold snap. So yeah, it was bad. All right. Well, enjoy. All right. World record. Nineteen seventy-seven. Oh yes, it is. It's a nice night for a black wedding. That there's in this moment. Uh, Rob Halford sitting in there uh, in the video, uh, also. So uh, great, great stuff. Uh, I love that song. Anyway, before that we had Trampled by Turtles doing Whiskey Live uh, for the Moose Girl, and we kicked it off with uh, Minnesotans for Global Warming. Uh, Miss Kate request uh, doing. If we only had some some global warming, uh, and, and by the way, in, in case you're unaware of this, um, when when you. Uh, <laughs> YouTube now, they include at the bottom of uh, songs such as this one or other videos, maybe not even songs, uh, a little warning telling you that global warming is real. Yes, global warming is real. You, don't you believe what they're saying here in this video? Global warming is real. <laughs> Oh, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> uh, and, and I don't know who they're fooling because they just look through the through the comments there, and uh, it, it, it's 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 obvious that nobody's buying their line of crap when they put that propaganda there below the video, trying to warn people away from anti-global warming propaganda. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I I, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes these guys, I don't know what they're trying to get away with. Uh, who put it? I think I think Grammy uh, put a link there in the chat, or maybe it was on uh, Freedom's Network. Somebody put a link on Freedom's Network. Might have been Grammy. 
I forget exactly who. Uh, earlier today it was uh, Mark Dice. Uh, Mar Mark Dice um, talking about this uh, new filter that's uh, uh, going on, on on some of the browsers. I think it was Edge, Microsoft Edge browser. Um, <laughs> Uh, trying to tell you what news is real, what what news you should believe in, versus what news you should not believe in, and and uh, he pointed out all these examples of this just total disproven crap, you know. Um, eh, what, what do you do? Uh, they, these guys they they push hard at their game, trying to trying to get you to 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 buy into their nonsense. And uh, and nobody's buying it. Nobody's paying for it. No, nobody's li nobody's listening. Wh wh where's the link to what one? Uh, there, Benoit. I, I'm not sure which one you're talking about, but uh, yeah, okay. Um, and Moose Girl had to take the dog out once again there. So, uh, so let's take a look and see what kind of news stories we got lined up here for you. We, we got a lot of stuff lined up. Uh, that 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 is for sure. Um, let's let's start with this because uh, I think this is a good one to go with here. Uh, because this comes up this, this coming week here, during this during what the hell happened there? Oh, no, oh, it's not letting me do it. It's not letting me do it. I can't. I can't click on it. All right. Uh, can I highlight? No, I cannot even highlight. All right. I'll, I'll do it this way, I guess, because um, it's not letting me. I, I don't. I don't know why they don't give you a warning saying you can't click on that. So uh, anyway, here's the here's the link. And uh, here's here's what's coming up this week. Yeah, hey, I'm uh, back. Oh, there she is. She's back. So this week starts on next uh, Tuesday, the, the 5th. Uh, the Chinese New Year. It yep. is the Chinese New Year. This will be the year of the pig. Okay. By the way, uh, for anybody unaware, or as Grammy calls it, uh, not, what? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Um, as Grammy calls it, the uh, Lunar New Year. Oh, the Lunar Year. Okay. L L Lunar New Year, yeah. So uh, here it is. Um, and by the way, that on that day, that I should get my new sound card on that day. On, on the, cool. On the year of the Pig Day. <laughs> nice. So and, 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 yeah, I had to buy one because I think there's something wrong with this one. Anyway, um, Chinese New Year starts on February 5th uh, next week uh, and ends on January 25th of 2020 and is the Year of the Pig. Chinese New Year's starts on the second or third new moon after the winter You're a pig, salt. right? What? Are you a pig? I'm a rat. Oh, a rat. <laughs> what are you? What year are you? 1960? Yeah, 60. I'm a metal rat. Okay. I'm okay. a fire horse, which is the rarest sign in Chinese zodiac, by the way. All right. Well, whatever. Just say it. Anyway, the Chinese New Year starts on the second or third new moon after the winter solstice, depending on the number of new moons between the two winter solstices. So you figure that part out. Uh, anyway, the, the Chunyin period, Lunar New Year, starts 15 days before February 5th of 2019. So I, I guess the Lunar New Year already occurred, according to this. Um, uh, be before February 5th of 2019, statistically 20% 20 of the planet's population celebrates New Year, the New Year, on February 5th. It must be mentioned that usually this is not a fixed date, and it falls between January 15th and February 16th. According to the traditional calendar, the Chinese year has 12 months, like the Gregorian calendar, but shorter. Uh, the remaining days are recovered in a 13th month, which gets added from time to time in order to match the movement of the sun with the moon's um, it says moons here, as as if there's more than one, I guess. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Uh, the zodiac cycle has 60 years in it, and is composed by mixing 10 Tiangan celestial stems with 12 DZ, D-I-Z-H-I, DZ, earthly branches. Uh, the celestial stems are five basic elements, wood, fire, earth, metal, water. Uh, combined with the two basic principles of Chinese philosophy, yin and yang. Uh, so that, that's all in here. All, all of all of these, all these, are then combined with the earthly branches, specifically zodiacal signs. Zodiacal, that's a nice word. Signs: rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, root, rooster, dog, and pig. <laughs> yep, I just posted the the link for all the different oh, years cool. and the signs. Let's let's pull that up. Because uh, yep. yeah. 
Uh, so yeah, I am a metal metal rat. Heavy metal. I am rat. a fire horse, which oh. is the rarest sign in the zodiac, and I'm not making this up. It happens only once every sixty years. And being a fire horse, okay, there's four elements. So you, there's metal, wood, five. air. Five, five elements. No, five, is there five that's in Chinese? Well, that's what I just read on that thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, what is it, Grim? Do they list them? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I read them. Okay. Um, I, I, I wasn't listening. Right. I was looking at them. Wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Okay. So there's five different elements. Depending on which year you are, you could be a different element. So that comes into play, too. So the fire horse is the rarest sign in the zodiac. And I just, I'm lucky enough to be that, which it, it's a gift and a curse at the same time. <laughs> because, it, you know, it, it, it just, yeah. It's like, lucky me, you know. Right. One more little quirk, that's all I need. Yep. So, yep, there I am, 1960, when he posted. Yep. Uh, as a rat, and there you rat, are yep. in 66. A fire horse. As a, a horse. horse. But they don't show the elements for each year there. But no, no, that would, that would be you're cute. a metal rat, I'm a fire horse. Some people are a wood pig or a metal pig, or, you know, it just depends on. Or a smelly pig. Some people yeah, are smelly pigs. Yeah, or pig. just a, a cop pig. <laughs> Let's see, my boys are dragons, I believe. Yep. My boy, boys are dragons. 1974 is, is a tiger. A tiger. You're yep. a tiger. Tiger. Now, we don't know what element, though. you got to look at, you know, a site that goes more in-depth to find out the element that you are. No, it could be water. Uh, it does. Wood. What, what, uh, what, what, 1974 is a wood tiger. Oh, okay, a wood tiger. Yeah, there you if go. You, if you click on those individual ones, it'll take you to the. Oh, page, I see. Page, okay, if you uh, click on the individual. So you are here. a wooden wooden tiger. Ben Ben was a wooden tiger. Yep, that goes from January twenty third, nineteen seventy four, to February tenth, nineteen seventy five. Yep. Yep. So there you go. They're all in there. If anybody wants to look theirs up. Feel free. Right. It's kind of interesting, and it kind of coincides with regular Zodiac. It's a little bit different, but it's very, it's all, Chinese, Chinese astrology is also a very ancient thing as a, compared to Zodiac astrology. They're, they're, they're both similar. They're based on the same thing, basically. You know, so, um, if people that don't believe in astrology, they don't understand what it means, what astrology means, you know, so people will diss it and everything. But, like, the one you read in the paper, the horoscope that people read in the paper, that is just, like, a generalized, like, you know, thing. You, you shouldn't take that to heart too much. Yeah. Because, you you know, you don't know. Every Everyone's different. You know, everyone's different. And so even though you're a Pisces, you're not the same as other, you know what I mean? It's hard to explain, but whatever. And, and, if, and if I guess this is, uh, these are uh, pr prediction, what are, uh, pr predictions for this year. Um, if I, and so if I look at Metal Rat for, for this year, it says, for those born in this year, which is January 28th, 60 through February 1461, okay. for those born in, in the year of the Metal Rat, this is going to be a year full of activ activities and offerings Although they might be young at age and experienced, they enter the fire of professional evaluations. That doesn't really fit me, but uh, we don't expect great progress or promotions. But with a lot of work and faith, they could turn out to be future candidates for important decisions. <laughs> let's, see, let's see what yours is here. <laughs> yeah, see what mine is. Oh, God. Uh, see I just, I horse, can't wait. Wood horse, fire horse, fire horse. Here you fire go. Fire horse. Okay, those born in the year of the fire horse have a lot of energy and ambition in 2019. They can now accomplish many of the projects that seemed numb. Oh. Uh, like maybe finishing that bathroom. And, right. <laughs> and for accomplishing these, they have full support of their friends and acquaintances. Actually, nice. the social relations level uh, is prominent for them this year. They wow. are effervescent. They shine. Ooh. But they must <laughs> effervescent and shine. I like that. Yeah, okay. You're like, you're like alka or something. Uh, but, <laughs> but, but, but they must not drift away from those uh, that those that admire and support them. So, okay. So don't forget us, poor folks. I won't. I won't. 
No. Uh, on a financial level, this is an. Oh, uh, there is an impulsivity. Oh shit. That can <laughs> cause important loss. <laughs> oh crap! That doesn't sound good at all. Anyway, bef before deciding to make an investment, they they need to stay tempered, and they need a period of time to consider all the financial okay. aspects of okay. important. So I just need to think about it, not yeah. be impulsive. Don't yeah, just don't be yourself. Okay, all right, okay, <laughs> right. I'll try. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of other stuff about the yeah. The check year them of the out, horse. guys. I mean, it's pretty interesting. It's kind of cool. Like you know, even astro regular astrology, it's cool to look up and see the you know and see if you actually can relate to it, and you can actually get some good hints. You know, well, um, that, that especially specific... learning about yourself. Like the best thing to use astrology, either regular or zo or Chinese. Yeah, is it helps you learn about yourself, which is always good. You want to learn about right, yourself, right? It's always a good thing. Know thyself. Is is the phrase? Yes. Yeah. It's divine. To know thyself is divine. Isn't that a thing? I, I don't know about that part. Yeah, but. I think it is. I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. But anyway. Um, all right. All right. This is, this is good. No, it's to love them yourself is divine. I think. Okay. I, I got I got to show you this. Anybody that might have missed it during the uh, the day or just wasn't really given a crap to look at it. Um, uh, let me let me try let me try and get this in here. And it's called uh, Nice Threads Frozen Pants Challenge Sweeps U.S. Amid Polar Vortex. Uh, so, so let me try and get that in the in the picture here. Let's see if we can do that. What is it? It's Alt, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let me try and get this in here. Right. Narrow this in. Narrow this in. Zoom that over here. They're playing prints on the goddamn radio. <laughs> okay. Raspberry Marie. So so uh anyway, so uh people put these pants outside in the in the frozen cold. Um <laughs> Oh yeah. Did you, I saw those pictures. It was in Minneapolis or that was in um Saint Anthony, Minnesota, where my dad used to live. That's actually in the city that my dad. It's right by this mini. It's well, basically Minneapolis. Well, it wasn't just. It wasn't just one. It was a whole bunch of different people doing it. Right, it, it, a it, bunch it, of cops did this. Like, did it's it. Like a trend. I mean, this was. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. A, See, this the, was in where my dad used the, to live the, in called? St. Anthony, Minnesota. The frozen pants challenge isn't yeah. exactly a new phenomenon. <laughs> a Minnesota, Only in Minnesota. <laughs> a Minnesota <laughs> blizzard saw the trend go viral in 2016. <laughs> However, the fresh arrival of the polar vortex has oh a resurgence. So you, so you got these people putting their, their pants out there. Well, it's up. fucking 50 below with the windshield, Graham. What are we supposed to do? Uh, I don't know. You know, you, you gotta make, you. you gotta make, have some kind of humor. You know what I mean? Oh, you no, gotta do great. shit it's like great. this in order to stay sane, or you'll go insane. You got, you got the dogs hanging out there with you in your right. fucking pants. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> do stuff like this, or you will go crazy. Oh, like the dog. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Two golden retrievers. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah, just take it out. Well, one's kind of a mix, but one's an actual golden, I uh, think. This, this, is, this is a map of all the places where pants are How cute were, is that? Done at, so, uh, oh, yeah. my God. Oh, that's all the places that did it? Uh, uh, well, uh, that's just a, I don't know, a map. Oh, of the the ones ones was, they, oh, they, oh they, my they, gosh. Uh, <laughs> So here, here you got one. This got frozen like pants the, challenge, is that what it was called? Yeah, frozen pants challenge. So well, in Wisconsin, a lot of people did the boiling cold water, boiling boiling water challenge, where they just went outside and just threw up boil, a pot of boiling water in the yeah, air. Yeah, this will take a little longer. The this, this will take, anyway, so, th so there you have it, the uh, Minnesota United FC. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Right, but, but he's got the shirt and the pants out there going on. Uh, hey, that's a good touch. I yeah, like that yeah, one. That one looks um, really cool. You got, you got a like a, an upside down girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stuck in the snow. Oh, yeah, Minnesota. Oh, yeah. Now you got the upside down. Yeah. Like she's, her head's stuck in the snow or something. Yeah, and here you got like a whole family. The, the whole family's out there. Oh, my uh, God. It's, they, it's, it's hilarious. Uh, I, mean, I, I applaud these people for <laughs> being humorous in brutal conditions. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. like in summer shirts. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no. <laughs> so there, there's, okay, there's, you said there was some cops. There's a frozen cop uniform. Right. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, yeah, they're in a, they throw, they went it down the. That's in Chisago County, and that's yeah. north of the cities. <laughs> Girl pack, I guess it says on there. I don't know. 
and fierce on the other one. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, they, they, people have a good old time out there. Well, like I said, you got to be humorous. You got to laugh at it. You got to. You're like, are you kidding me? Like, I I don't know how many times I said, are you kidding me? In those two days, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, okay, this is or, or this is ridiculous, and this is brutal. This is hideous. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Those are the kind. That's the kind of language you use because I mean, ten below. Okay, yeah, that's brutal. And it sucks, but 30, 23 below zero for the actual temp, that is beyond insane. That it, is, it, is it, hideous. Yeah, it is that, brutal. That, that, and that, it's that's deadly, so bad. That's deadly stuff, so you don't get really The 53, worry. seriously, you walk out there, and I had long underwear on, sweatpants, and snow pants on. And I, it went right through that. Yeah. It went right through that. I mean, I'm not kidding you. It was brutal. You could, like, we could only be out there for like four minutes or three minutes at a time. Right. It sucked to go be out there. It just sucked. It, it just, you, unless you, it, it's so hard to describe because you just, it's just like, it becomes to a point where it's just indescribable. It's just freakingly cold, freakishly cold. And that's the only way you can like describe it. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, it's just crazy. And like, I didn't go to work. Just for one thing, on Wednesday, because it was, like, equivalent to minus 53 degrees, which is, like, uh, like Antarctic temperatures, right? Or mm -hmm. Siberia or something. Mm -hmm. And plus, I was worried about my house, my furnace dying. You know, if your furnace dies in that kind of weather, your pipes are going to freeze in a fucking hour. Oh, right, sure. You know, I mean, you know, well, if, you if know, you're yeah. straight on the side of the road and you and your car has no heat... Your car is not running, right? And you don't have any supplies in your car, anything to cover up with. You yeah. could die within an hour. I mean, or less. Right, you, right. You can't mess around. People just, like my kids; they take it for granted. My son kept saying, "Oh, it's not cold. It's not cold." Well, then we went out like later on, and when we went to Best Buy, we actually left the car running. But we pull up to Best Buy, and it was it, it was dead. There was like ten cars, right? Yeah. Five, six of them, ten cars were running with no people in them. I mean, it's Wisconsin. When it gets that freakishly cold, people don't even think about stealing cars. You know what I mean? Oh. You don't have to worry about it. Like the cops are like, don't leave your car running. It's like, no one's going to fucking steal someone's car when it's 50 fucking below out. Hey, you, you know never know. I mean? It's Wisconsin. We trust each other, right? You know? Uh, People understand, because we're all experiencing it together at the same time, you know what I mean? It's 50 below for everybody, not just <laughs> you, you know? I mean, right. so we left the car. But then when we when I had to go to Walmart to get the keyboard, because Best Buy tried to dick around. I'm like, well, you guys got price matching, right? He's like, yeah. He's like, well, can you look it up on your phone? I look it up on my phone. It's obviously the same combo, keyboard and mouse. Right. Well, I can't see the actual item number. And this might not be the same item. I'm like, dude, I'll just go to Walmart and get it because it's only like, it's not far, right? Yeah. You know? Right. I said, don't worry about it, buddy. I'll just go to Walmart because I know it's 52 there. You know? Because they were trying to charge 59 at Best Buy. Yeah. I'm like, fuck you. I see it at Walmart for 52. You right, know? Right. <laughs> I mean, so anyway, yeah, it's just when we went to Walmart, then Matt stayed in the car. You know? I'm like, it's Walmart. Someone might be, you know, but it's still 50 below out, you know, or 30 below, or whatever sure, it was sure, at that point, sure. you know. But anyway, so he stayed in the vehicle because I just had to get that, that one item, you know. Mm. But, yeah, we leave our cars running. And we Like, I came home for lunch on Thursday, I think. Yeah. I left my car running the whole fucking time. <laughs> 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 probably, probably a good idea. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. It probably, was that yeah, probably, fucking cold. Probably a good idea. Yeah. A anyway, like, I, uh, I go to Matt. In, I go, I'm leaving my car and he's like, oh, I would. <laughs> in, in case that, that snow comes back and, and yeah. it freezes you out for a month here, uh, I have here an article on 21 life hacks to help you breeze through the apocalypse. All right. Okay. Or, or at least the next power outage. Okay. <laughs> my my power didn't go out, thankfully. Yeah. And some towns it did, so yeah, that would have sucked bad. All right. So here's a few life hacks that are applicable not only to regular everyday lifestyles, but to those crazy preppers, uh, people 
who have a preparedness mindset as well, as everybody should. Right, uh, everyone should. Right. Exactly. While, while all of these yep. aren't necessarily life saving, they all all have potential to hey, save you money. Anything that makes your life easier is a good thing. Save you money and effort in a survival situation. Right. Right. Uh, the first one here says it sounds more like a beauty tip than a prepper tip, but don't forget to moisturize. Uh, yeah, your skin is a barrier that prevents infection, and especially when it's cold. Right. You definitely need to moisturize because you will dry out like a motherfucker. Uh, anyway, keep it supple yeah. and to prevent cracking, which provides a route a route for infection to get into your body. It's right. An important uh, infection prevention method if antibiotics are either unavailable or no longer work. Uh, number right. two, carry plain refined sugar with you at all times. Okay. Those little sachets from fast food restaurants are ideal. You just go steal a bunch, I guess. Uh, plain sugar poured into a wound keeps it clean and aids healing. I did okay. not know that. I did, actually. I They used to do that in Civil War days. Just pour sugar in there, and it helps keep it, the wound It helps clean. with it, yeah. And it has also, something to do because it's like the crystals in there. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I had no idea sugar could help and, heal. But I would suggest instead of getting the the bleach processed sugar, raw sugar will do the same thing. Yeah. You don't have to get white sugar. Well, whatever. Just, the, get, just walk any into, sugar will just, work. Just walk into your what I'm fast, saying is, just go into the fast food joint and grab a handful. Right, grab those packets or whatever. <laughs> They don't care. They got months, months, right. months of money. Oh, yeah. Fuck right. McDonald's. Fuck. I, don't, right. I, don't, I have no problem. Anyway, number three, watch out for carbon monoxide. And yes, the, please do. It's, I was afraid. I was actually, because they give you these warnings like, oh, when it gets to cold temps, you crank the heat. Well, yeah, you're going to crank the heat more if it's fucking 50 below. <laughs> well, then you're more susceptible to carbon monoxide poisoning or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Right. But it, the, it, there are symptoms you can watch for, and you should be aware of those symptoms. Yeah. Uh, it says in the midst of winter power outage, you're, if you're burning fossil fuels, which could be your natural gas or whatever, oil, right. oil whatever, to keep warm, make sure you have adequate ventilation and avoid right. carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, you can also get uh, a cheapo CO detector, too, so uh, that, that's a good thing to have, I guess. I don't have one. Anyway, number four, don't throw out old bicycle tubes. A slice from an inner tube of a bicycle tire makes an excellent tourniquet. Bonus, wow, yes, correct. Bonus, it burns even when wet, so it's also a great fire starter. Nice. Yeah. Good, yep. Good to know. Uh, number five, never use a space blanket on someone who is cold. No, but, don't, because it's too hot. It, no, you, no, you gotta... apparently um, the silver surface prevents heat from getting to them. Oh, okay. So what it says? <laughs> yeah, and, and I don't. I don't even own a space blanket. Like, how many people even have them anymore? Like that used to be like this big survival thing, like thirty, forty years ago. No, no. It if you're out, like if you're out, out in the cold somewhere, and you're already just a regular warm person, then right. you can wrap that blanket around you and hold the heat in. But oh, if, okay. But if the person's okay. cold. I mean, yeah. You, you don't want to you don't want to insulate that cold in on them. It'd be like putting them oh, in a koozie. Oh right, or right. You know? I hear. Oh, okay, I I get you. you mean, yeah. No. Okay. So it, it suggests I, I, yeah. that you cuddle up and wrap the foil around both of you. Yes. <laughs> Body heat is huge. Like seriously, so, they so, even say you should take your clothes off and roll around in the fucking snow. I mean, I'm not so, kidding so you. So if you're looking to hook up with some girl. You know, get out right. there. Right, body you... heat is huge, people. <laughs> it's a thing. Get out there and. The, I live in, the, in Minnesota. In the I'm from Minnesota. I live in Wisconsin. My whole life, I know about this. It's a fact. It works. It works. Right, right. It says just fill your jars. If you are a canner, don't just put empty mason jars on the shelf waiting for them for you to make jam right. or spaghetti sauce. Keep right. them filled with water while they're not in use. That's a good idea. They take up the same amount of space, full or empty. Right. Might as well have water in them. Goddamn right. Uh, right. Keep keep up to date with household chores. Half an hour a day can save a mammoth cleanup once once a week. Being True. organized means you know uh, where everything is is yes. should. I don't know whatever they, they missed. You know where everything is. You know because like everything should be in a place. Like tools, like for us, the tools should be downstairs. Right. But sometimes like our tools are like in other places. It's like no. Let's have all the tools be downstairs, you know, so right. when we need to find one, we know where to fucking go, you know? <laughs> yeah, my crap's all over the place. Yeah, uh, see, I have that problem, too. And it, it, organization is a big thing, and I am not a, 
excelling at it. Let's, yeah. No. All right. Anyway, number eight, uh, know what household chemicals should not be stored together. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So look under the sink, cupboard, say, garden yep. shed. It pays to know what does and does not mix uh, with what. Uh, mixing drain cleaner with bleach will fill your bathroom with chlorine gas. Never a good thing. <laughs> No. However, that knowledge is a fact that could also be useful at some point. In case you ever need to make chlorine gas for anything. And don't ask me what I'm not going to say. Anyway, number nine. Yeah. Uh, be, <laughs> be careful with wasp nest spray in open flames. Right. Uh, duh, duh, uh, spray, duh. Spray plus fire equals a flamethrower. Oh, excuse me? Hello? That's common sense. Well, All right. it should be. It should be. Uh, number it 10. It should be. Number 10, Moose, this is for you. And, and, um, all for me? Okay. and Ben and others out there. Uh, be ready for cold weather. <laughs> I am ready for cold weather. I have my boots. I have my snow pants. It says here, I have my jacket. It, I have my hat and gloves. It, it says here, winter is coming. Well, you're a little late on that. Uh, uh, yeah, a little late on that one. And, uh, and depending on where much. you live, that could mean power outages and in turn no heat or light. Yes. A couple of cheap garden solar lights would be uh, would give better than nothing. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Stairs. Uh, also, you should uh, know all sorts of different ways to stay warm. All right, I'm not yeah, gonna. Yeah, I not do. Gonna, it's called fire. I'm it's not, called fire, baby. I'm a fire sign. I know how to start a motherfucking fire. All right. All right. So I'm not gonna I will go make through. it happen. I have tools to make a fire. If I had to last week, I could open my garage door and start a fire right at the the. the the, the, in the driveway there, right in front of the garage door, we would have survived. Yeah. In minus 50. We would have lived. Right. Just well, saying. I'm not going through all 21 life hacks it here for you. It would have sucked, but we would have lived. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Grim. I, I just said I'm not going to go through all 21 life hacks here for you. I gave you 10. The rest are in the in the blog, or will be in the blog link. Uh, That's a so. cool link, though. That's a very good link, Grim. That's, yeah, I well, like there's that a, there's one. Really, there's a, some other really good stuff going down the list there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, most of it. Um, most of it should be common sense, but of course right? it's not. But you know, people need to learn how to think out of the box. They're so used to going to Walmart or Amazon. You know, it's right, like, oh, right. I'll, you know, I'll just get what I need. Out, you know, it's like, dude, if there's a, like a fucking major disaster or something, you ain't gonna be going to Walmart or Amazon, bitch. Right, <laughs> you know? right. You gotta think outside the box. Now, 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 I'm gonna since I was doing a list type thing, I'm gonna give you another list that's okay. But can I say say one thing? Yes, yeah, certainly. Okay, I am seriously, since this brutal cold hit, and I was seriously going, if the power went out, we would be fucked, right? Yeah. Because it was, like, seriously minus 53, okay? And so I've been thinking about getting my fireplace going again. Well, so I called the fire chimney sweep guy, and I'm going to get that done because he will he comes out to inspect it. If it needs cleaning, it's 100 for the inspection or whatever. And then if he, it needs cleaning, it's 175. Which I think is a really good deal, so I can get. Because I want to be safe. We haven't used it for years. It might not need to be cleaned, but he sounded really like straight up, like he wouldn't. He was gonna like, you know, tell me I need it clean unless it needed it. Right. But still, it's good to have it inspected anyway before I use it. So I think that's a really good. And so that way, I will have an alternative heat source. You know what I mean? Sure. Inside a a, a dwelling. You know, because that is my alternative heat source. The only one I have at this moment is the fireplace, which is a wood-burning fireplace. Yeah. The only thing I, I'm short of is wood, but we have, I mean, this is Wisconsin. We can find wood, you know. Right. But I would, once I get that going, I am going to order, like, a cord of fucking wood. Good. That's good. Yeah. Just because, you, ha you know, you do have to have a backup. That's, Absolutely. You know, that's, that was Absolutely. my point of saying this, is have a backup. Have a plan. Of, if your power goes out and you have no heat source, how the fuck are you going to stay warm? You know Absolutely. what I mean? Absolutely. That's a good question. Exactly. All right. you gotta you got to think about these things, especially when you live, like, up here in um, Siberia of the United States. Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> go on now. All right. Sorry. So that's, that's all right. Uh, so so this, this next article from uh, WISN.com is a massive, massive propaganda piece. Everything in okay. there. Oh, WISN, that's a Wisconsin news yeah, outlet, yeah. right? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah. Everything right. in this, and, and don't think it's just on that one. It was on every paper across the nation or every website, you know, every clap website across the nation. Right. And, and WISN is part of ABC. 
Yes, they are. So this is total, total nonsense, but I'm going to share All right. with you. Ten Thanks flu for the disclaimer. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Ten flu myths your doctor wishes you would stop believing. Ten flu myths. Got that? Whoa, what's happening there? I got something stuck up here. Okay. Oh, it's that stupid video. It's October 28th. Shut up, video. All right. So, number one, if you're sick in the winter, it's probably the flu. It right, right. Well, it's probably well the, be flu. the flu. Or a virus. You might, you might well have the flu, but they don't want you to think it's the flu. No, they want you to think it's life-threatening. They said it could be a cold. It could be a sinus infection. But they still want you to think your life is in danger. Because you're sick. Right. Well, they, no, they, yeah. they want you to not think that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> miss, miss I'm confused. Num miss, okay. Myth number two. I'm so healthy, I don't need the flu shot. No, uh, it's because I haven't had the flu shot, I'm so healthy. Right. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I say. That's, that's what I say. That's, that's how that should be. That's uh, my theory. That's how, what I subscribe to, too. Myth number three. I've had the flu before, so I don't need the flu shot. Well, if you've never had the flu, or if you've had the flu, you don't want the flu shot. You don't. No, ever, you do not. No, you, you do not want the flu shot. You don't. You don't need, want any of their fucking. You no, never, you don't. You, you no. never need That's their flu shot. But, no, you do not. But you. But that. Uh, myth number four, and wrap your brain around this one: the flu vaccine gives you the flu, and they're telling you that's a myth. It, it's common for people to complain the flu shot gives them the flu. But this is not the case, really. They didn't have the flu before they got the shot, then after they got it, they did. Huh. Anyway, it says most of the flu vaccines are made with flu viruses that have been killed. Right. So they cannot cause the flu. Right. Uh, then the nasal vaccine is made with live viruses that are weakened. So it can't cause the flu either. Oh, so a weak virus can't cause, a, cause you to get the real virus, huh? Um... <laughs> anyway, so these are all all lies. Every one of these are all lies. Uh, myth number five: You won't get the flu if you get vaccinated. Ah, uh, bullshit! Bullshit! Uh, they they call that bullshit. a myth. They, they're, they're saying that's a myth, Moose. They're saying if you won't get the flu if you get vaccinated. That's bullshit. Well, it's a myth. They're saying it's a myth. It is a myth. Okay, but <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the other side of the spectrum is the myth of getting. It, that getting a flu shot is a guarantee you won't get the flu. This, um, for, this article is fucking me up because they're saying the opposite. It's crazy. Right, this they're calling these are myths. Me these, these are all myths. Okay. Uh, or what they're calling myths, which, are, of course, this is all massive propaganda. Uh, myth number six. Once you get the flu, it's too late to get the vaccine. Well, I... Kinda is, ain't it? Anyway, yeah. If, if, you, if you have already, if you've already had the flu once in the season, it's not too late to get the flu shot. Just keep on taking that, <laughs> taking that poison. Sorry. Take that poison. Uh, yeah. Uh, myth number seven: You can catch the flu by being out in the cold. Says although parents everywhere will continue hollering at their kids to dress warmly in winter, you of won't course. catch the flu by being out in the cold. At least not directly. Well, that one's actually true. Um, that you won't get the cold, the flu from just being in the cold. You have to actually get the virus. Right. So, Duh. <laughs> One of the myths is go out in the cold, you're going to get sick. That's not always true. If you're de dressed properly and everything, you're not going to get sick just by being out in the well, cold. Yeah, That's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah. You, if you stay away from people at any exactly. time, well, like you, at any time during the year, you'll be fine. Um, myth number eight: You're only contagious in the first 48 hours of the flu. Um, I, I I don't actually know if that's true or not, but um, they they say it's not. Um, uh, myth number mm -hmm. nine: People with egg allergies should not get the flu. Well, nobody should get the flu. Uh, the flu no, shot. no one should. No one no. should get the flu shot. Not, not, not. No, who wants it? Who would want the flu? Like, would you want? No, come on, come and, on. And and finally, myth number ten: uh, You need to schedule a doctor's appointment to get the flu shot. No, you can walk no, into you any Walmart, you go to Walmart. Or Walmart. They'll get no jet. They'll fucking. Shoot that toxin uh, in your and, arm right and, away. They'll, and they'll give you a prize for for taking right. that. Oh, they'll give you like some five dollar gift card. Ooh, five bucks. Woo hoo. <laughs> or or twenty bucks, maybe, depending on how oh, desperate yeah. they Ooh, are for you 20. to get the flu Ooh. shot. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> so exciting. All right, we're gonna play some more music. <laughs> Sacrifice your fucking life, twenty bucks. Yeah, but you know it's or you might get an really? Amazon gift card or something. Oh yeah, a gift card. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's worth your life. Yeah. All right, okay. let me mention once again and give you the link once again. Uh, we're, we're on our donation drive, our annual donation drive. Yes, we are. It's February now. And we and we need your money. We need your money to stay up and operating. We do. We need money to and, like keep the RLM the going click, and keep these shows going. You can click that link in the chat to go donate, or if the, you're listening to this on the podcast or later on, just go yep. to the reallibertymedia.com and look for the donate button on the sidebar there. Right. And Real easy. Just, you know, five bucks. A dollar. Ten. Twenty. Whatever. We don't care. Twenty bucks. Whatever six, amount that you want us to contribute bucks. is fine. Hundred bucks. Just, <laughs> right. Hundred. You know whatever you want to do. Don't um, what you because can. Grimner does run this RLM. He's you know the one that keeps it going. Does all the behind the scenes technical things and you know he he has to pay fees you know server fees and you know whatever else you know i don't know all every all the fees he has to pay yeah. it's not a lot so but he still does have to pay if, money if to you, keep, you know, you know if, if you like the site you like the shows that are on here yep. um please please you know just just give a give a give even a, a dollar and we don't care just anything would help well there's not yeah we need more than that but oh well, yeah <laughs> we do but you know, if 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 twenty people, I know, I know, but twenty twenty bucks. You know, that's what, that, yeah, that twenty people a dollar. That's only twenty bucks. That's that's <laughs> not yeah no. Yeah. Whatever you guys feel, you know, think about what you pay for your internet, what you pay for your subscriptions to other things, you know. Um, yeah, whatever. I mean, if if you enjoy it, that's all. You know. All right, yeah. If, if you think I mean, that's worthy. what it comes down to. If you if you feel like donating and feel like and, and we've got we've got that way, so do that. We we've gotten some donations already, so oh that's great thank you thank yeah, you people yeah for, from people I mentioned it at the, at the top of the show uh, we we which gotten, I didn't hear so yeah. that's okay anyway, so we've got uh, four, four cash donations from different people uh, okay, adding great. up adding up to one hundred and forty dollars so awesome. far and um and and I thank those people greatly that did that donations and and um and but we need more we're not there yet we need at least three hundred dollars. How much? At least three hundred dollars. Okay, the goal is three hundred people. I mean, come on, three hundred bucks. That, that's we the minimum. Can do that. That's the minimum. Uh, other other costs okay. do arise throughout okay. the year, and I usually just cover those. But, okay. Uh, see, yeah, see, Grimner's forking up money out of his own I'm pocket poor. for I'm, some I'm, of this I'm a stuff, poor bastard. So. I have no income. Um. Right, and you know, we seriously, we do need this. You know, we don't get paid yeah. to do this. You know, right. we're not like CNN anchors, which is a good thing. I would never yeah. be one of them. No, so, because they lie. Know. They lie about everything. Right, and they're they're the clap. They're the mainstream media. You know, that's not us. We're no, not that, mainstream that's media. Not us. Definitely hey, oh, not. Ben Benoit, you can click that link that I posted right there that that says donate, yep. or you could go to the reallibertymedia.com dot com website and click on the donate button there. Yep. Uh, Either way, um, whatever works. Yep. And, and you way, can it'll donate work. via PayPal or any credit card with no PayPal. So awesome! Yeah. Thanks, thanks everybody. And just we're just put, you know we only do this once a year. Um, right. The once rest a year, of the time we I'm, leave you I'm alone. Not, we don't say you know. I'm not good at begging for money. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead man. <laughs> I just said I'm not good at begging for money. So. Right, uh, I am. I'm not either. I feel like one of those people on like the public radio stations, you know, when we do this every year. But right. it is true, and we we do say the similar things because it's true. If you like what you hear, you want to help us out, we could use it. You know, yeah, that's what it comes down. We're, to. we're not making money. We're just trying to cover costs. That's all. Right, exactly. Just to cover costs, not to like make any money. Yeah. You know, because this is a volunteer gig, so... Absolutely. And Grimner, you are the man. I mean, you fucking... I, I spend, I spend a lot of, do a lot of yeah. hours. I spend a lot of hours on this. You spend... And time is money, you well, know? I mean, yeah, everyone really knows that. And you yeah. just spend many hours. And, many, and, many. and not to mention the many hours that you spend being a tech guru, guru for, like, most of the, you know... Yeah, well... You know, I mean... That's that's a whole different you know. story. Anyway, right, um, yeah. okay. let's let's do some music here, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll come back on the other side. Okay, sounds good, people. Thanks yeah. for tuning in. It's Freaky Friday Enjoy. once again. <laughs> Gary Clark Jr. there doing the twelve bar blues over there in Berlin. Yeah, um, who was that guy that he was playing with? Uh, I don't know who that guy's name was who he was playing with. 
Anyway, uh, that was 12 Bar Blues there, Gary Clark Jr. Before that, we heard Metallica doing a harvester of a sorrow and uh, scenes from The Shining. The original, yeah. And we kicked it off with canned heat going up the country back from 1969. Yipper. <laughs> so I, I guess the uh, moose is uh, out taking the dog out once again. Uh, that, that no, dog, I'm here now. Oh, that, 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 that dog, he needs to go a lot. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Um, no, he did not have to go out. Oh. But during our last set, or the last talking thing, yeah. he was digging. Oh, he created this huge mess. <laughs> uh, I have this potted plant. It's like a tree. He dug in the dirt of the plant and got it all over the fucking Oh, floor. boy. That's fun. Oh, my fucking God. I can't clean it up yet because I'm doing the show. Yeah. It's like, and I, I, I brought Matt up. I'm like, Matt, you got to come see this. <laughs> and his paws are just, his front paws are just all black. Like, he's like, what were you doing? That you didn't know he was doing this. I'm like, I was doing the show. I couldn't hear it. Um, <laughs> you know? Dang dog. Yeah. He's getting older and he's getting more mischievous, you know? Right, right. So he's got to be tamed down. <laughs> Dude, he's going. Uh, yeah. He's a kid. You I know, get him. He's a puppy, you know? I'm like, I didn't, we didn't scold him. We didn't, you know, we did, We just like, Jackson, what the, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, that's, that's a kid for you. Right. He is a kid, too. He He is. He's like having a kid. For sure. He's like a toddler right now. <laughs> the kid can't keep away from the toilet paper either. He's he you can't leave the toilet paper on the roll. It has to be on the top of the toilet. Otherwise he's gonna grab like today he grabbed the whole roll like it was half a roll. He grabbed yeah. half a roll and brought it into the kind of, on the couch. It must feel good in his teeth to chew that or something. I don't know, but right. he's in the <laughs> he's crazy, dude. <laughs> His adult teeth are coming in right now. So he's, yeah. yeah. But I've given him many rawhide shoes. He loses them under the couch or something. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, what do you got? You're him. All right. I got, I got plenty of stories here. Uh, this one from WDBJ7.com. Mm -hmm. San Francisco area restaurant. Bands make America great hats. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's just dumb. Apparently, an, an award-winning cookbook author and California restaurant owner says anyone wearing a MAGA hat uh, will be refused service at his restaurant. <laughs> uh, J. Kenji Lopez uh, is a chief partner at the Worst Hall... The, not worst as in worst, but as in worst as in like the German pronunciation of worst. Worst Hall Restaurant in San Mateo and says in a tweet Sunday that he views his, the hats as symbols of intolerance and hate. The hat. Right. <laughs> it, it, it it, no, it, come on. It, it, it's it a hat. You, you, it, when you're in a public service position in a customer service industry, you can't judge people based on their religion or anything. Or well, you I lose mean, it's, business. It's not, it's not like it says fuck black people or Mexicans right, or something. Right, you lose business if you're going to be that <laughs> anal. You're going to lose your fucking business. You're fucking stupid. All right. Sorry, yeah. that's stupid. Uh, apparently, the San Francisco Chronicle reported that Lopez Alt decision <laughs> was met with mixed reaction by the restaurant's uh, clients. Uh, diners interviewed by the newspaper said they understood Lopez Alt's stance, but questioned the hat ban and said he could have found a way to start a dialogue on the issue. Well, no, you don't, no. It's what kind of a business is it, Grim? It's a restaurant. A restaurant, really? You're gonna lose fucking half your business over your fucking political beliefs? That's fucking stupid. He must Sorry. Have made, he must have made a lot of money from his book, so. so he Maybe, wrote, he but, wrote his, his but award, he really, wrote his, that's a stupid fucking motherfucker. He wrote his award-winning cookbook, The Food Lab, Better Home Cooking Through Science, oh, in, yeah. in okay. 2015. Uh, he says his restaurant received threatening emails following the tweet 
and declined further comment. Oh, no. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> right. What did you think was going to fucking happen? Hipster. Fuck. I hate that word hipster. I fucking hate that word hipster so bad. I, I just, I, I fucking despise that word. Well, Whoever hipster, made up that word is fucking lame. You, you all know, right? You know, hipster is only the first part of the word. What is it? What is the other part? Douchebag. Hipster okay, douchebag. Okay, thank you. Hipster douchebag I like. <laughs> hipster period? No, I do not like that word. I hate that fucking word so bad. Oh, God. Ugh. Hipster. <laughs> all right. Ugh. So I, I'm not really I, I I don't take Tylenol or Advil. Okay. Um, I only use aspirin. Me too. And I'm not is Advil. And what is okay, Advil? Okay, ibuprofen. What? What, what, what is Advil? Advil is ibuprofen. Okay, and Tylenol is is acetaminophen. Okay. All right. So apparently the CDC has said now that Tylenol and Advil are more effective than prescription opioids. Now, I'm going to probably have to disagree with that, um, although I've never had a prescription opioid. Um, but Me either. Uh, sure, they kill pain much better than Tylenol or Advil. Oh, I've been on some pain medications while I was in the hospital. Like, yeah. you know, I was on fucking, I don't know what they were, Dem uh, Demerol at one time. Yeah. Well, again, that was nice. Uh, again, this article from yeah. WISN.com. Again, another Wisconsin clap outlet, an yep. ABC one, right? Right. It says, yep. uh, for families across Wisconsin, there's a new and chilling dose of reality. CDC researchers found less uh, found less addictive over the, uh, and by the way, these are not addictive at all, Tylenol and Advil, they're not addictive whatsoever. Anyway, uh, less addictive over-the-counter drugs like Advil and Tylenol are three times more effective than some of their opioid counterparts. Uh, after OxyContin was approved, the company that made it really aggressively marketed opioids as the answer to pain for primary care doctors and specialists alike. Uh, Dr. Michael McNett said they claimed it was not addicting. Yes, of course they did. And so doctors... Of course they do. They, they always say that. They, they say that before they even know it. And so the doctors believed them because they were getting huge kickbacks. Of course they get a kickbacks. They get vacations and shit like that. And, and so the doctors believed these drugs were safe and highly of effective. Of course. Uh, when, in, when, in fact, the research has come out to show that it's not actually true. Now, here, here's the thing. Um, you can't... I mean, people... I don't know. I mean, they, if you give them a prescription for whatever opioid, right, and they go through that prescription, and their pain should be gone by X amount of time, uh, yeah. d depending on what it is that they have. But by that time, they're addicted to if, it. If it's Yay. not, yeah, okay. Well, they may be addicted to it, but they can't get it if they don't have a prescription. Right. They can't right. walk. So down. then they turn to something like meth. Because they're still in pain because well, it didn't really is work. Not, meth is not a painkiller whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> you don't feel shit when you're on that. Yeah, you done meth? No, oh. fuck no. Oh, well, you, you do still feel stuff. It's, it's... Well, you do, but it, it, you're high, Graham. You're, you're fucked up. You're fucked up. Dude. Yeah, but it's not you a painkiller, though. It, it's not. It, there's no... There's no painkiller. I don't think you feel pain when you're high on meth. I do not. Yeah. Well, no. I, I know better. <laughs> you do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, I used, I used to do meth. I told you about it when I used to go out uh, right, night riding in the desert. On my, on my oh, yeah. Racing. You told me. Yeah, you yeah. told the story. And, and, yeah. and you know, all it does is keep you awake. It keeps you wide and fucking awake. And, um, but it doesn't kill any pain. It's speed, basically. Yeah, it's speed. It's, it's, yeah. it's high octane okay. speed. Okay. I believe you. Right. I believe you. Anyway, so the, so these doctors think uh, somehow, uh, or the, the CDC now thinks somehow they're going to sell you on the fact that Tylenol and Advil are just as good as <laughs> are just as good as as, as uh, opioids in killing your pain. Which no, they're not going to be. They they, they aren't. They just aren't. Right. Um, not that you should start taking opioids by any by any means. I'm not saying that, unless you got some pure opium to smoke. Um, 
<laughs> right. Opium I could do. I would I would smoke opium in a heartbeat. But, that, but that's, a whole different, that's a whole different ball of wax. It is. A whole different ball of wax than that. It's, it's not it's even not, in the same ballpark. Well, then, then, uh, then whatever, the, the various opioids that you get prescribed at the doctors. Um, right. You don't exactly. want any of those. those. Those are bad. And stay away from anything that's, that's a pharmaceutical type thing. Um, that would be my, my, my suggestion to you. Right. <laughs> All right, um, the WHO, the World Health Organization, or as Hal says, the WHO, not the rock group, um, <laughs> recommends rescheduling cannabis, provides clarity on CBD. This is on uh, M MJ Biz Daily or Marijuana Business Daily. Okay. All right. Uh, member states of the United Nations Commissions on Narcotic Drugs, CND, received the World Health Organization Expert Committee on uh, Drug Dependencies uh, Cannabis Recommendations, which had been expected in December. Marijuana Business Daily has learned the CND is expected or had been expected to consider rescheduling cannabis in March of this year at its annual meeting, but the delay in receiving the ECDD recommendations may push the consideration into next year to provide additional time for member states to review them. It's only been a month since December. Why is it going to take a whole other year now? Anyway, uh, the report recommends several changes to how cannabis is scheduled, which could have significant implications for the cannabis industry. The, the scheduling of cannabis at the International Drug Control Conventions wouldn't be as restrictive. <laughs> It'd still be restrictive, just not as restrictive. Uh, be, but because it would be removed from the Schedule 4 of the 1961 convention, the category reserved for the most dangerous substances. How the fuck did marijuana get on a list of the most dangerous substances? Uh, anyway, THC in all forms would be removed from the 1971 convention, placed with the uh, cannabis in Schedule 1 of 1961 convention, significantly simplifying cannabis classification. Pure CBD and CBD preparations containing no more than 0.2% THC would not be included any way, in any way in the International Drug Control Convention, so CBD would be totally removed um, from that, which is great. Um, pharmaceutical preparations containing uh, nine dash THC. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I have no fucking clue. If, if they follow certain criteria, would be added to the Schedule Three of the 19, uh, 1961 Convention, recognizing the unlikelihood of abuse. So, uh, overall, it's a good thing, um, but not good enough for, for my liking. Um, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, they uh, they they still want to have their control over yeah, everything. Yeah, fuck them, everything. fuck them, cancerous given assholes. Who? What? Who are you talking about? No, I don't know. I was just looking at the chat room. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Philip Morris doesn't have their shit together yet. They're working on it. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, who cares about Philip Morris? Uh, yeah, I don't. I, 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 I don't know either. It's, it's, I think it's because you were talking about cannabis and you were talking about. You remember last week or two weeks ago when you said that they want their share of the fucking market? Oh, absolutely. Philip Morris is trying absolutely. to get involved in the fucking... And, and, and if you read through the rest of that WHO document there, mm -hmm. you'll see that it talks a lot about the uh, lab-produced THC. And that, right, that, that, but that's all, like basically synthetic. Yeah, they're all for that. They love that. Oh, well, yeah, synthetic. They don't yeah. like the real shit. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck that corporation. Fuck Philip Morris. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them all. <laughs> they don't want them involved. I don't want them involved. This is why we're, I'm against legalization. Yeah. Because you get all these red tape, all this red tape and shit. Even if they say, oh, recreational weed is legal. You can't do it here. You can't do this. You can't only have this many plants. Fuck you. It's not freedom. Right, That is right. not freedom. That's regulation. Okay? And Absolutely. it's a fucking plant. Yep. They yep, don't regulate yep, yep. spider plants, do they? Uh, I don't know. Well, you can't get high on a spider plant. 
<laughs> Some people right. might be able to. I don't know. You know, I'm just I'm just using it as an example, but it's it's a fucking plant. Right, right. Any, anyway, uh, speaking of weed and such things, from HighTimes.com. Okay. Snoop Dogg facing legal issues from Canadian hockey team over weed company logo. The Toronto well, he just might have park. You know, maybe the logo looks similar that he created. Yeah, you know, the, the, the Toronto Maple Leafs think Leafs by Snoop trademark <laughs> too closely resembles their own branding and will <laughs> confuse people. Okay, then. It's just a pl it's just like Adidas. Like, people made Adidas into a weed symbol. Like, they put a weed, well, you know what I mean? Well, he's, he's got a symbol that kind of looks like a Canadian flag with a weed uh, Toronto leaf Maple Leafs. I'm looking up the Toronto Maple Leaf symbol first. It's, it's, I mean, it's, I know it's, it's a giant Maple Leaf, yeah, but it's how the, many... it's a big Maple Leaf. So they think people yeah. are going to mix up a Maple Leaf with a weed leaf. Okay, there's a big difference between the two. A huge difference. <laughs> Big difference between a maple leaf and a pot leaf, all right? Okay, you can tell a difference instantly from looking at them. I mean, come on, people. Yeah. It yeah says, it, anyway, on. it says, in the first place, the Toronto maple leaves have a problem with the way Snoop's brand spells leaves. In standard English, the plural of leaf is leaves. Is leaves. So the maple leaves what? organization say that that strike one against Snoop's brand. The oh, leaf, come on! The, the leaves mark so as, as if they own the word leaves. Right, exactly, <laughs> which they do not. Okay, uh, then there's the issue of the logo itself. Leafs, oh, God. Leafs by Snoop uses a logo featuring white text over a green seven-point leaf design. Pot leaf, a pot leaf. Right, and any marijuana consumer would instantly recognize it right, as, an as a pot leaf to the cannabis plant leaf. We wouldn't, I would not associate that with the Toronto, Toronto Maple Leafs hockey team. I would the, not do the, that. The no. Toronto Maple Leafs also use white text over a broad leaf design, but that leaf is taking a cue from the flag of Canada is a maple leaf, not a cannabis leaf. Right, exactly. Hello? But then you have to consider they're Canucks, so... Earth to Sherlock. Earth to Canuckistan. Earth to Canuckistan. Come in, Canuckistan. Come in. Are you there? Hey, hey, hey. It's a boot time. You come in. Hey. It's a boot. Yes. It's, it's a boot, boot time. Right. Like I said. A a a anyway, so th there you have it. Come in now. Um. <laughs> Pulls off. Yeah, yeah. Do I have one more weed story here? Let me see. <laughs> oh, not a weed story, Um, but I, I have this other story. Okay. Which is about... I have, actually I have two stories on it, but uh, um, uh, let me just get to the one. Okay. I'll, put, I'll put the link to the other in there. Take uh, your time. <laughs> just kidding. I don't, I don't have that much. All right. Uh, it's a figures ball. Anything and, and, I, and I really hated to use this link because it's NBCnews.com. Right. But sometimes you know. Yeah. Anyways, uh, 11 people freed from jail after Florida deputy allegedly... <laughs> alleged my ass. Well, oh, yeah, right. They always use that word when it really did happen. It wasn't allegedly. It actually fucking happened. Falsified narcotics arrests. So the sheriff's Imagine officer... Imagine that! The sheriff's officer has been fired after tests revealed substances on which some cases were based were not drugs. In one instance, it was Tide detergent. So uh, apparently, oh, right. yeah, yeah, uh, great. Eleven people released from the jail in Marin County. A uh, de deputy was fired. Uh, the, the cases were not drugs. Sheriff William Snyder said the he fired Deputy Stephen O'Leary on January 14th for allegedly, allegedly falsifying the arrest in the county south of uh, Port St. Lucie uh, on Florida's east coast. O'Leary. O'Leary was. Uh, employed by the sheriff's office for 11 months and was still on probation. So he, he didn't waste much time framing people. He was only there 11 months and he's already framed a whole bunch of people. Um, but according to the uh, the the, uh, the sheriff, he said, it's, it, it's better to release 100 people who are guilty than to have one innocent person remain in jail. What? That's what he said. Uh, it was like... I, that I, makes no uh, fucking sense. No, that makes absolute sense. 
Okay. Uh, to, to to release 100 people that could possibly oh, okay. be guilty. Oh, okay. I, I, I just misunderstood, I guess, apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, I, I mean, kudos to this pig for doing the right thing, um, probably because it came out in the news and for no other reason. But, um... <laughs> So now the the the, the uh, so, death toll from the polar vortex has gone to 21 people. Is that so? It was 13. And now they're saying it's 21. Um, that's that's crazy. A guy in Milwaukee died. It was a, he was 55. He was shoveling the snow, and he fell or collapsed or something, and he froze to death. Well, he, they found him frozen. I mean, I don't think he froze to death. But right, right. Um, no, Hans, yeah. not Tide Pods, just actual Tide in a baggie in this guy, in the in the, in the door. Tide in a baggie. In, in, the, yeah. in the door compartment of a van that he had just bought. Like tr Tide, deter dry detergent. It yeah, looks yeah, white. Yeah, yeah, it looks like white detergent. powder. Tide detergent. It's, here's the story. Florida man spent 41 days in jail for heroin, but it was actually detergent. Um yeah, no. see, that's bullshit. Now, that's, that should never happen. Well, that, Dread, you that, got no argument for this. Uh, if, you, if you look at this story, you will see Matt, that Matt. he had no fucking defense because he probably had a public defender that works for the same people that the lawyers fucking work for. You know, you, you guys don't get it. All you right, guys here, don't here, here's get the, it. Here's the, here's the guy's story. Marin, Martin County, Florida. Uh, Matt Kroll, 29, spent 41 days in jail, wrongly accused... According to the Martin County Sheriff's Office, he was locked over op, up over Christmas and New Year's, but he and ten others are now out, which was the previous story. Uh, Krull had a white powdery substance that was found in the driver's side door, wrapped in plastic, with a hair tie around it, Krull said. It was laundry detergent! It was tied laundry detergent. Um, Hello? Deputy, uh, Deputy Stephen O'Leary said it was heroin. A lot of heroin. Uh, it says, I, I just looked at him baffled and confused because I had, I had no idea as to where 92 grams of heroin came from inside of oh, my yeah. van. <laughs> Carl said he bought the Astro van three weeks prior for $1,400, so maybe the last owner had left it behind. But the street price of 92 grams, according to American Addiction Centers, would be more than $18,000 for a $1,400 van. And if it was actually heroin in the door, those Shit. people who sold it to him would come after that van right away. So, um, anyway, there's that story. So, it's just the, the pig was just trying to make busts and didn't care what Okay, he, this is weird. Who he busted for what? What? I just got an email from a hacker. Oh, uh, that's not weird. It's you may lie. not know me, and you probably are wondering why it, you're getting this email. It's a lie. It's a lie. Don't even worry. Don't. No, don't, I wouldn't. Just, okay. It's just like, it just came up. It's just like, really? This is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's total nonsense. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They want a $1,000. Oh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> it's like, uh, uh, no, buddy. Do, do not if even. I could give that to you, which I can't. I wouldn't. I, I get those all the time. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, Thank, it, thanks for It's just stupid. Okay, stupid, I'll just stupid scumbags trying to trying to get you to oh yeah. no I've because I think they all say you've been watching porn or some kind of shit like that. That didn't say nothing about porn. It just says something I don't know. Uh, I don't know, read whatever. the whole thing completely. But I was <laughs> it was like yeah, you're full of shit. Uh, anyway, yeah, so no um, kidding. We're we're gonna play some more music here. Let's do that. And uh, we'll we'll be back after after these tunages. Enjoy. Okay, sounds good. Sing along if you know the words. This is for you, Daddy. All the songs in the deep spin down nowhere. I'll see you Thanks, Leo. Leo Miraccioli there, covering uh, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. in a little metal version there. Uh, anyway, before, <laughs> it's great stuff. And before that, the Rolling Stones for Hansel Time is on my side. And we kicked it off with a Moose Girl request there. Fleetwood Mac doing a landslide. 
Yes, indeed. Good old Thank you. Stuff. What's that? Thank you. You're welcome. For playing those songs. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, those, that landslide song, that's like one of my favorite, favorite songs. Like, ever, I learned that song when I was in high school, or I heard that song, first heard that song. Yeah. And I just loved it ever since, and it's still one of my favorite fucking songs, you know? Cool. It's a great freaking song. All right, and also, by the way, during this last music break there, we received a donation from Mr. Benoit. Thank awesome. You. Thank you very much. Everybody you rock, give, ben, man. give Ben Thank thumbs you. up. To, uh, yes, very very appreciated. Appreciate it. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you very much. So, uh, yeah. Cool. Thanks for supporting, you know, RLM, RealLivingMedia.com. That's awesome. Um, Thank you. Yep. What else can you say? Thank you. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, thanks. That's great. Yeah. It, it makes us feel good. It does. It does. does. You know. It does. Yeah. And, it and it keeps it, yeah. keep, it'll, it'll help keep the place going. So, you know it. Keep yeah. the lights on, right? Uh, well, yeah. Keep keep the radio streaming and yep. all that stuff. Yep. Keep, keep, keep the, the server web. going and keep all, you know. Keep the website operating and all that. Tech space. service going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. Who is this? And my squeaky fucking microphone. I had it in a spot. And now it's squeaking again, Graham. I'm so sorry. I had a spot where it was. Okay, I think it's good now. It's right. not squeaking right now. All right. Okay. All right. Not as much, anyway. Sorry. I need to put some, like, WD-40 on this thing or something. Or sewing oil or something. Flame machine oil. Well, I haven't used this headset for a while. So yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, I know how it goes. Yeah. It's plastic, so, of course, it's going to be all squeaky, you know. Oh, right, yeah. So uh, some guy calls me today, and he's like, okay, I got some boots for you, you know? Uh-huh. I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, I got a problem. I'm like, yeah. He's like, they squeak when I walk. <laughs> <laughs> I just start laughing. I mean, well, I know. almost start laughing, laughing hard, you know? That's, 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 like, okay, that's, that's, you know? <laughs> that's kind of a... That's but, kind of a... Uh, apparently, it's a common problem. Yeah, well, you well, know, apparently there must be some flaws in the rubber on the soles or something. Nah, they just they do it for a while, then they stop. Right, you know, but the guy's like, no, I can't take it anymore. He's like, every step I take, the boot squeaks. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. I'm like, okay. You know, so yeah. I, like, referred him to a manager. I'm like, you know, cause I, I don't know what to say, you know. Right, right. So anyway, apparently it's a common problem, though. Yeah, yeah. So that was something new that I learned today on the job, that rubber boots, rubber sole boots and squeak. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think I've had a, a pair, at least one pair of boots that did that. You know what I mean? Sure. Or they made a weird song when you walked, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, like, what if it was like a fart song? <laughs> so every step he takes, it's like... <laughs> you know what I mean? That would suck. That would suck. That would suck. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one, though. That was, oh. like, the highlight of the day. Cool. Right there. Yeah, that, you know, hey, you got to have something, you know. And, and plus, we had egg rolls today from Egg Rolls Plus, which oh. is really good. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you know, I mean, it's it's three egg rolls for three dollars and fifty cents. I mean, right. you can't beat that. I mean, that is like a deal. That is a deal. You know, and so like they get up, the, the one guy from work goes and picks them up. So it's like I don't even have to do anything. You know, it's like yeah. just give them my three fifty, and I'm not. You know, <laughs> they do that on Fridays, which is cool. You know. Yeah. But anyway, go on. All right, you see that picture there. Yeah, the comet. Is that it a is comet? It's not a comet. It's a meteor. A meteor, uh, okay. Apparently, a meteor explodes, shatters windows in western Cuba after startling Florida Keys. And, and there's a bunch of pictures here. Wow. So it says the, the meteor has rocked the skies over west, western Cuba, exploding midair, shattering windows, and raining charred meteorite rocks on people's homes before its spectacular demise. The space rock was seen flying above Florida. 
the meteor exploded near the town of Vinales uh, in the Pinar del Rio province Friday with the witnesses wow. reporting hearing two loud blasts as it disintegrated in a trail of smoke. Uh, there's a. Let me see if I can. I don't know wow. I don't know if this will play or not. That's pretty close. The U.S. there. Yeah, wow, people like are freaking miles. out. <laughs> she, I would be. I'd be like, what the hell? She was like 100 miles from uh, Key West, right? Florida. Wow. Uh, that video it didn't really show anything. No, but still, it shows that people are freaking out. They're anyway, like, what so the hell some, is that? Here's some, <laughs> you know? here's some pictures of the rocks. Oh, wow. Those are worth money. Right. Now look at this one here. That's a yeah. nifty looking piece of a rock right Those there. Those are worth money. That's worth like a lot of money right there. Yeah. If that's an actual part of it, that is worth a lot of money. Yeah. Just and saying. There, and there's some more little pieces and some other pieces. Because it's not from this earth. That's why it's it's so like valuable. So those people they shouldn't be posting pictures of it like that. I wouldn't be. Well, they're Cubans, what do you want? I'd be like, no, I did not find this. I found this, but I'm not posting this shit. No one's going to know that I found this shit. All right. Well, yeah, anyway, no. so <laughs> I, I found that interesting that this. That is cool. That Wow, that, that's crazy close, dude. Yeah. That's true. That they, they, they happen all the time. It happens all the time, dude. You know, right, people talk right. about these blasts that happen, these unexplained... That could be a meteorite hit, you know what I mean? Sure. sure. You don't know. We don't know what these weird unexplained sounds are, right? Uh, no, we don't. That's why they they're unexplained. They should be called UFS, that's, unidentified that, sounds. That, that's why they're unexplained. <laughs> right. Or UES, unexplained sounds. UFS. Yeah. All right. You know in, I mean? another, in other space news... Yeah, you know, space. Oh, I like space news. Goober, Goober, this is right up Goober's alley. Uh, groundbreaking black hole study reveals universe growing faster than previously imagined. Imagine that, really? Faster it's always expanding, imagined. people. Duh. They taught me that in like sixth grade. Anyway, it says scientists using supermassive black holes to measure how <laughs> fast. Uh, to, to measure how fast the universe is growing have produced some extraordinary results that may require new physics to explain. So they're creating black holes purposely? No, no, we, we don't oh, have the power okay. to do right. that. We, the, the, the humans don't have the power to create a black hole. Right. Not, not like that. <laughs> okay. not, I mean, they, they can do the little ones over there at CERN. Thank God. Or they, universe they, or they, something. They can't create a, a real... Anyway, uh, universal expansion measured in a rate known as the Hubble constant is a well-known phenomenon. However, it is ex its exact pace has eluded <laughs> astronomers for some time, as it oh, seems yes. to depend on where they look and how they measure it, which is why the boffins at uh, both NASA and ESA, which I guess is European Space Agency, uh, came to different contradictory conclusions. Uh, now, an innovative study in an international team of scientists in Durham University uh, and the University of Degli, Studi, whatever that is, somewhere in Italy, um, used an observation taken from 1,600 black holes at the centers of the distant galaxies to measure the rate of growth in a novel way. What they found has led them to conclude that the universe is, in fact, growing faster than previously thought. No shit, dude! Uh, black holes are most luminous persistent sources of the universe, yeah, they're not luminous at all. They're they black could holes. just ask me, and I would have told them that the universe is growing. They didn't have to like do no big study or anything, you know. Anyway, come on. but it's growing much faster than they previously thought. Oh, okay. Well, I could have told them that too. You know that they were wrong in their previous fucking assumption. But basically, what it comes down to is they don't know jack. Exactly. That's what I'm trying <laughs> to say. They don't know shit. They assumed. That's what I'm saying. They made assumptions previously, and they were wrong. And now they're like, oh. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we were wrong. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, man. You're stupid. You, you know, they think we're dumb. Okay? Remember that. They always think that we're stupid. Anyway, so. there's some cool graphics and such there in that. In that okay. Uh, All right. Of, of course, they're just animations. They're not, I mean. Right. But it's not real. It's, not, it's made up shit. Well, but, yeah, but that's I what they... I can't take they, pictures of that. They, you know, they, they, oh, Never mind. The Don't get me started. It's too late. They, they, they depicted what they now. observed. 
Right. It's too late to show it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here's, here's a story for you. Okay. Oh, this one will light you right up. Oh, okay. oh great. That's a, it's a show. Why do you do this to me, Grim? Just, just chill. <laughs> okay. All right. I will. I'll just chill. I'm good. Females giving birth proven to be a sexist, transphobic social contract. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. According to the article. And what article? Where is this from? What? What's? What's the source here? Now you're gonna you're gonna ruin it for me. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, it's the, oh, it's the onion. It's no, gotta no, be it, the it, onion. It, I call. Hey, I I am I am do this because I have been baffled by the onion like three times or four times in a row. Okay. Okay. Well, so it's about it, time that I call one out. A satirical freaking article. Yeah, it, but it's not the onion. It's flake news. All right. Well, it's same. It's satirical. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. It, it, it has been proven by science that men and women are equal in every way. Uh, therefore, any divergence from this fact of life is merely an outcome of a sexist, sexist social norms arising from the embedded patriarchy of society. Science has shown that both men and women, on average, process the same physical, or possess, not process, possess the same <laughs> physical strength, intellectual capacity, emotional responsiveness, range of interest, and reproductive attributes. This then raises the profound conclusion on, on life, as we know, that the belief that giving birth as both a historical and scientific role of women is inherently sexist and transphobic. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> arising from bigoted oh, social construct really come on with this word. Really, come on. <laughs> social construct oh, and gender. Uh, when we picture a woman giving birth, we are being sexist and transphobic. The short answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like the flight students. <laughs> yeah, but I called it out. You didn't you get did. me that time, Grim. You got it. <laughs> I did. I caught it before I even fell for it that time. It's about time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the very fact that giving birth isn't female exclusionary. <laughs> Can you stop now? Can you, we know it's bullshit. It's, it's just, no. Let's, yeah, no. I'm done. I'm done. So with, keep going. Yeah, I'm but, done. I'm done. Come on. All right. I called it out. <laughs> you know, you're busted. You tried but, um, to get me, and it didn't work. But uh, but I was having fun. But I was having fun. I know, but still, you know, I busted you. It, it, it's you know, it's like you know, yeah. so I'm happy for myself because I was due because you have busted me so, uh, and you <laughs> I have fallen for it like so many times, and everyone gets to laugh at me. Uh, you know. Good. Okay, I guess we'll finish. Okay, this great. <laughs> uh, I, I guess we'll finish with this story quickly here. Um, sure, sure. Hemp ethanol is about five times cheaper than gasoline. Huh. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine that. And it's totally, absolutely, completely renewable. Quickly, right. Much quickly. Anyway, according to biofuel expert Tim Castleman, hemp ethanol could be produced for a dollar thirty-seven a gallon. That's not five times cheaper. Um, uh, plus the cost of uh, feedstock with the technological improvements and tax credits, um, re reducing the price uh, another dollar or so per gallon, so 37 cents a gallon. All right, that's better. All right, uh, CIFAR Conference 14, uh, cracking the net nut bioprocessing, blah, 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 whatever. Um, it, just a just fact is, is true that uh, you could grow hemp for next to nothing, and it will fuel your vehicles. So, there. Take that. All right. Um, let's do our last set here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do that. Let's do our last set. And um, we will be back. We will be back right after these great tunes. Enjoy. You know it. For Ian Luther there, covering Black Betty on the acoustic guitar. 
Ah, uh, yeah, very nice. Anyway, before that, we had the Grand Funk Railroad doing the locomotion. Yeah. Yeah. We kicked it off with Charlie Parr doing Badger, a great song by a great artist. <laughs> oh, folks, um, that, that's going to wrap it up here for us on the Freakers Ball for this evening. Don't forget, though, that, that we uh, are doing that uh, donation drive, and we really, really, really uh, could use your help uh, in, in, in getting to uh, where we need to be in order to cover our, our server fees. And uh, to those of you that have already donated, thank you very, very much. We, we do appreciate it highly. So uh, thank you all for that. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, tomorrow is the uh, the, the dork table at noon Eastern with uh, Flash somebody. So, uh, yeah. Um, and then on uh, da -da 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 -da, Sunday is me uh, at noon Eastern <laughs> with the blues at, at at, at noon Eastern, did I say that? Yeah. Uh, so yeah. tune in Sunday for the Blues uh, at noon to three, followed immediately by Hal Anthony behind the woodshed, opening up the big old can of whoop ass. I'll be back again Monday evening at seven p.m. Eastern with Grim Leftovers. Don't tell them who that is. What's that? Don't tell them who it is. I already said Don't who make it was. Him easy. No, because you know what? No. What? He's just in Charlie Parr. He doesn't get to know and get a link, an easy link to this Black Betty song. Oh, no, Let I already him told him. Who, I already said who it was. That's the, the, the song. Did, okay, well, whatever. So he's he's on the radio stream, so he's lagging by a Don't minute. Don't be Justin so. J. Charlie Parr J. Dredd. Yep. Anyway. Um, Nobody should listen to do that. You don't want that. You don't Thanks. want that. Anyway, so uh, I'll, I'll be on Monday with Grim Leftovers, and then on Tuesday yep. is uh, Flash Somebody uh, in a perfect world at uh, 1 Eastern. And Grammy will be on at, uh, hopefully, her normal time, Wednesday and Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern, with Grammy's Rocket Chair. And uh, Flash again on, on Thursday, uh, doing 20% uh, off. And then we'll be back next Friday night here for more Freakers Ball. But, uh, again, please donate if you can. Sure. Thank yeah. you. Thank you all. Yes, thank you, everyone. And uh, have yourself a great weekend. Yeah, kick-ass weekend. Yeah. Peace. Peace.